everybody, welcome back around the Blog Game Grill. I'm your host, Doug, here with your video blog for September 23rd, 2013. I got around the shield as we go around the NFL. I got MLB playoff race update. But first, I want to get to a good, not a great, but a decent college football Saturday. And the big game that I watched was Syracuse taking on Tulane. It was a very good game at the Dome. Syracuse offense was absolutely dynamite for sure. Um... Really, the quarterback play was good. Um, Syracuse also had some great special teams plays. They really won all three aspects of the game. Terrell Hunt, the new start, got his first start at quarterback. And I don't know how the coaching staff messed up on not starting this guy at the beginning of the season. He throws a better ball. He's a lot more mobile, and he does not turn it over like Drew Allen. He is, must be he's a bad practice player. But Terrell Hunt threw a good ball. He had, I believe he had three touchdowns in the air. He ran for one, over 300 yards passing. Um, Jerome Smith added a rushing touchdown, so that was solid for them. And they also had some great special teams play, a block punt, well, two block punts and a block field goal. And also they recovered a fumble on a punt. So some great plays for them. And Syracuse really trying to get going. They got a big conference game coming up in two weeks, October 5th against Clemson. And that's going to be a game to watch for sure. Tulane. Nick Montana, Joe Montana's son, the quarterback, not great in this, not great. Um, threw some decent balls, threw some decent deep balls, but that was just some Syracuse blown coverages, so not really a whole lot to write home about for that young man. All right, so now we'll get to the other games, and really the other games, it was, I'm calling it blowout Saturday, blowout Saturday for sure. No close games, really. Just run down through the top 25. Scores Ohio State wins 76 0, Louisville 72 0, Florida State 54 to 6. Other games Miami over Savannah State 77 to 7, Washington over Idaho State 56 to nothing, Baylor wins 70 to 7. I mean, just some unbelievable scores and really not a good college football day because of that. I mean, we see these teams play these Division three clubs, but usually they're not all on the same week. I think that really diminished the greatness of this week and it just wasn't a real good week in college football for sure not a lot of exciting games and the games that we thought would be exciting really the best game I think was Stanford Arizona and Stanford won that game by 14 it did get ugly late but Stanford took care of business and that's why they're gonna be jumping up in my top 25 poll or my top five poll it's really blowout Saturday. No good games. I'm hoping for some more good games next week. I think we got. Um, we gotta have some. Let's take a look at what we got week five. There's gotta be some good ones too. Old Miss, Alabama, um, Ohio State, Wisconsin, LSU, and Georgia. Really, the marquee matchup. That's where College Game Day is. So that'll be a good one to watch for sure. All right, let's go to our Heisman update. And right now, I think the front runner has to be still. Johnny Manziel, Johnny Manziel, 300 total yards on Saturday in a win. And But really right now, Teddy Bridgewater is not far behind. Teddy Bridgewater is playing good. He's probably the best overall passer in college football right now. It will just be a case of him really not playing a tough schedule, so he's not going to be able to get that marquee win. And Even though I think um, Johnny Manziel got the loss against Alabama, I think that is his marquee game because he lit them up he made two bad passes overall he lit them up so that's my take on the Heisman now we'll go to my top five number five still the same I got Clemson at number five Ohio State drops to number four playing a weak game Stanford wins big over Arizona State they jump up to three my top two are still the same Oregon and Alabama at number one so that is my college football for this week now we're going to go around the shield giving you a quick breakdown of every game in the NFL so let's get right to last night's Action, last night's action, Chicago and Pittsburgh. Chicago taking care of business. Still the defense of the Steelers struggling. Chicago wins 40-23. to In New York, the Jets taking down the Bills 27-20, to a matchup of rookie quarterbacks. Geno Smith, two touchdowns, two picks, but he goes for over 300 yards. And the Jets win 27-20. to A shocker out west in San Francisco as Indy. Takes down the 49ers. Colin Kaepernick struggles again with his offense. And Andrew Luck has a big game. Along with Trent Richardson, who also ran for a score on his first touch. Indy 27, San Francisco 7. Seattle takes care of business once again at home. 
They extend their home winning streak to nine straight over Jacksonville. Seattle wins 45-17. Late, late game touchdown pass from Tannehill to Sims puts Miami at 3-0 and over the Atlanta Falcons, who are now 1-2. and Miami wins 27-23. Cincinnati outduels Cincinnati and Andy Dolan outduel the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Cincinnati, a late game score. They win 34 to 30. Dallas takes care of business at home against St. Louis. Tony Romo has a good game. Dallas wins 31 to 7. Chris Johnson gets back to his running ways. Jake Locker throws for for a good amount of yards. And Tennessee is 2 and 1 as they beat the Chargers 20-17. Cleveland, a week after they trade their best offensive player, comes back against an underperforming Vikings team. They get the win behind Joe Gor Josh Gordon's first start of the year. He goes over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown, and they win 31-27 behind Brian Hoyer. New England, Brady and Kendall Tompkins hook up for a couple TD passes, and New England takes down the struggling Buccaneers 23-3. The Saints are 3-0 after putting on some major pressure. This Saints defense is the best we've seen probably in probably since they won. It's better than the, when they won the Super Bowl, too. They win 31-7. They've allowed fewer than 20 points in each of their first three games. RG3 can't get it done, doesn't turn the ball over, but Detroit outguns the Redskins. They win 27-20. And probably the biggest, the two biggest surprises of the weekend – Carolina taking apart the Giants, holding them to 13 total yards of offense in the first half. Carolina wins 38 to nothing. And Baltimore and Ed Reed's return to Baltimore. Flacco has a big game. Ray Rice has a big game. And Baltimore gets it done 30 to 9. So that is around the shield. Now I'm going to do my quick Monday night football pick tonight. We got Monday night. Oakland and Denver. Um, just take a look at this. I mean, Oakland has to be considered to, I mean, they can make a run at this. I think it's going to be a great game for sure. Terrell Pryor gives them some more options at the quarterback position, but overall, I think Denver will get it done. I'm going to take Denver, I'll take Denver 35, Oakland 17. So that's going to be my pick. I got my two picks last week correct. I picked both the Bengals and the Chiefs to win, so I'm 2-0 and last week in my primetime picks. Now I got my first primetime pick this week, and we'll pick week four Thursday night game later on this week. Let's have a quick look at the Major League Baseball playoff update. Um, let's get right to it. Yankees fell yesterday, and the Yankees are five games back of Tampa Bay. And really, it's going to be a struggle for the Yankees for sure. My Really, the two teams that clinched over the weekend, Boston and Atlanta, are in in both Eastern divisions. St. Louis has clinched a playoff spot, not the division yet. And Oakland clinched along with the Dodgers. So we got a lot of teams clinching. The two tightest races right now are the American League wild card and the National League wild card. Yankees are four out of the wild card. And really, my pick for the wild card is going to be the teams that are in right now. Cleveland, Tampa Bay, both playing good ball. Kansas City. Could make a run for sure. Let's see. Uh, Kansas City at the Mariners, at the White Sox, but the Indians are home against the White Sox and then at the Twins. So, really, I don't know. In the National League wild card race, it's pretty much going to be set, but it could come down to the final day to see who gets that uh, home play playoff game right now. Pittsburgh and Cincinnati are tied up at 89 and 67 they play a three game series this weekend that is going to be a great great series to watch for sure thanks for tuning in the blogging girl i'll be back on wednesdays we'll continue talking mlb playoffs get you ready for that big reds pirate series over the weekend we'll talk a little nfl week three with our top fantasy players offensive and defensive players we'll get you ready for week four too so thanks for tuning in the blogging girl always remember follow me on twitter at yankee ball 415 check me out on jbsmooth84.com Thanks for tuning in. Always remember, comment, question, subscribe to my page. I will see you on Wednesday. Have a good one.